Hello everyone, my friends. Um, my name is Daniel Oson Chin. I'm a uh, Chinese Norwegian living in Japan. I'm a violin maker, bow maker, and string maker. From today, I would like to talk about the correct, the best condition of a violin. Uh, how should a violin be? Uh, I want to talk from the head, the screw, up to the down to here. Today, we focus on the screw. First of all, I would like to talk about the material of the screw. Uh, itamaki, just a shenzhou. We have uh, mainly ebony, ebony wood for the screw. Also rosewood, also boxwood. The ebony may be the oldest type. It is very strong, it stays for very long, but because it is too hot, uh, when it's old, it slippers, slippers very, very easily. It can go through, come going back. And also, because ebony is kind of heavy, so it also affects the sound. And uh, the most popular screw type today is called the Hino Songs, the heel type. The heel type mostly use uh, boxwood. Boxwood is soft, uh, very nice looking. Of course, the, the dyed color is not original color. Uh, it's very nice looking color and uh, it's very uh, soft, very, very smooth. And also it's light, the sound is also good. So it's very popular. But boxwood also have a problem. Because it's too soft, it can break very easily. And especially for tailor piece, it breaks here. And for the wood, because it's uh, uh, very soft, it shrinks a lot. So the pick is going in and in and in, then you have to change a new one. Nowadays, especially for the Italian makers, they like to use uh, rosewood. I think rosewood uh, is uh, a very good choice. It's between ebony and boxwood. That is about the material of pegs, tailpiece, tailpiece, and uh, chin wrist. I don't have a chin wrist here, it's a new violin. This is I made a new violin. So um, uh, now I'm going to talk about the the head, the condition of the head. The most important thing is that the maker, the violin maker, the tools of the the rimmer and uh, the peg sh shaver should be absolutely match each other should be perfectly match each other. So um, a lot of violins, they either go very hard or a little bit, a little bit loose, they go going back like this. It's because the angle is not correct. Uh, the rimmer and the shiver, the angle is not correct. So it's for this two hole, this hole and this hole, only one part is touched. So you have to go very in, and one part is not touched. So that's why either it's very too hot or it's come back. For that, you have to go to a violin maker to, to redo it, because that is not a good condition for your violin to play. The second imp important thing is that uh, for the A string, A string and the D string, never touch the, uh, the lower string, I mean the E string. So no problem with the G string, no string will touch the uh, G string. But for the E string, it's very likely the A string when going down, they touch the E string parts, E string the, the uh, peg. Or the D string when going, going down, they touch the E string, uh, e string peg. If that happens, you have a big problem with two issues. One, you are very difficult to tune. Every time you tune the E string is fine, the a, uh, G string is fine. Then when you tune the e, A string, because it's touch the string, then the, the, the everything will change. So uh, it take a long time for you to tune it up. The secondly, you will break the string here because the the, the string is a masatsu, uh, because it's uh, it's touch each other. It's like this, uh, so the string will break very easy at the 
E string plays. So if you have a violin like this, if you see the A string and the D string going down touches the E string pack, you have to go to a violin maker to fix it. How to fix it? You make the E string hover down and make the A string hover up. The violin maker knows how to do the job. They have to stop the, the hole and make a new hole. And that will save a lot of trouble. Uh, it's, it's very essential. And also, if you put on strings, if the string touches the bottom of the wood, or the A string touch very inside here, then that's another very good reason for you to break, break your strings. So if any places is touched when you when you when tuning up, then you find it very difficult. You can lose your string and see the button if it is touched. If it's touched, go to your violin maker and take some wood out. The string should absolutely no touch of any places. So then you, it's very easy for you to tune and will not break the string. I hope that will help you and thank you for today. Next time, I'm talking about the correct uh, position of this. Thank you for today. Uh, au revoir.